Hello everyone, it's Zach and I'm back again with another video. So in this video I want to talk about uh, sampling and more specifically I want to talk about importing uh, some one-shot samples into Logic here and we're gonna make a little drum kit and then um, I will make a little beat using those sounds. So there's gonna be two parts to this video today. The first part is I'm going to show you where to get some really good free samples that not a lot of people seem to be using. And then the second part is actually let's download those samples and we're going to put them into Logic and make a, a little beat. All right, let's do it. Also, just in case anyone uh, is wondering, uh, there is a watermark on my screen because I'm trying a new screen capturing program called ScreenFlow. And hopefully this will help with um, capturing voiceover directly and logic directly um, so you guys will have a much clearer sound. Um, the only sound that might sound a little weird is my mic. I'm using the laptop's internal mic today just because I don't have an external mic hooked up. Um, but if that's an issue in the future, I can uh, fix that and have a, 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 um, an external mic hooked up to the computer. Alrighty, so here we go. Now I'm going to go into Safari. I already have it open. Voiceover finder, Safari. Safari, start page search or enter web. And we're going to go to bandlab.com slash sounds. So that's B-A-N-D-L-A-B dot com slash sounds. B-A-N-D-L-A-B bandlab at sounds. M slash sounds. Right. On slash browse. Cool. Safari busy. Bandlab sounds. Royal. All right, so we're at the home page. Now, um... If you do not have a BandLab account, you need to go create one. So you would do that. I'm already logged in, but if you would, if you didn't have an account, you would click on the Get Started link, and then it's a very simple form. You just fill in your name, your email, password, um, press Continue, and they'll send you a verification email, I believe, and then you go to your email, click that link, and you're all set. I already have an account, so we're all good there. Um, also, at the bottom, there is a cookie message just letting you know that... Um, they need to, you need to accept cookies, and so I would just click got it, and then you would go and create your account. So, after you do that, um, you'll be at the feed, and the quickest way to get to this page is literally just what I, we just did. Go to bandlab.com slash sounds, but um, you can click on the sounds like it's quite at the bottom of the page. Uh, there are some accessibility issues on this website, and I'm probably going to contact them at some point to help resolve those, but they're very minor. So I'm not super worried about them right now. Alrighty, so we're at this page. I'm gonna do a voiceover search for packs. And to do a voiceover search for anyone who doesn't know, you press Control, Option, F. Enter search text. And you'll hear, enter search text. I'm gonna type packs. S. Press return. Explore packs. Do it again. I'm gonna do a VOG to move to the next search. Packs. Do it again. Packs, link. Click that. That's the quickest way to get to all the different sample packs that you can download. All right, now we're at the sample packs page. I'm gonna to move to the top. Main. And go to the right. Heading level one, packs. Keep going. Heading level five, crafted by top artists and professional sound designers for a dose of inspiration. Satisfaction guaranteed. Cool, so we've got all this stuff here. I'm gonna press Control, Option, Command, L, and that will move me to... Cover picture of Larry Beats pack, the link, first image. Pack here. Now, I will say this right off the bat. This is a free website, and not all of the packs here are that great, in my opinion. Um, some of them are really good, and others are kind of, they're not bad, but they're not really the greatest either. So I don't think that this is like a replacement for something like Splice necessarily, but if you have nothing else, and this is what you're stuck with, this is a very good option. And even if you have something like Splice, this is a good um, way to get even more samples um, that you can use. So let's go through, and I'm going to try and find a pack that has maybe some one-shot drum samples. Larry Beats, Link. Cassette breaks, cuts, and scratches. Link. Now this might be cool. Let's see what the description for this is. If I move to the right. Classic beats reprocessed through tape players and turntables for authentic, rich analog tones. Cool, that might be good. Let's just keep going and see what else is here. Bellabad, lo-fi beats. Link. That could work too. Hyperwave. Link. Alright. Wi-Fi OG selects a pack. UK Garage Volume No. 2. Drums and FX. Okay, Link. Cool, so we got it quite a bit. Let's go back to that um, cassette pack. Larry Beats. Cover. Cassette breaks, cuts, and scratches. Link. All right. Go here. I just clicked on it. Now we're at a new page. Seven three zero seven eight sixty cassette. That's an image. I think that's meant for you to actually hear a preview, but I can't get that to work. I don't know if it's because I'm in Safari or what. Classic beats reprocessed through tape players and turntables for authentic, 
Rich analog tones. Cool, if we go to the right. 85 loops. Bullet, 15 one shots. Cool, there are some one shots in here, awesome. Bullet, hip hop slash trap, FX. Bullet, drum, FX, snare, percussion, hi-hats, kick. Cool. Link, open and mix editor. Download pack, clickable. The mix editor is their own online DAW. I haven't tried it, so I don't know how accessible it is, but I think some blind people use it. Um, it's mainly meant if you don't have another program to use. We do, so this isn't a problem. I'm gonna click the download button, but if you were to keep going, Facebook logo, image, Twitter logo, image. You can share it. Type, clickable. Keep going. Instrument, now, clickable. Now, you can actually download sounds individually, just like Splice. So if you didn't want to download the whole pack, you could go through. Search, search, sort by, recent. Going. This is uh, what, how you want to sort. I'll sort by name. By, recent, name, so clickable. I VO space on that, and I'm going to click on name, and I'm going to go to the right. Name, type, mood, instrument, BPM, key, CBCS underscore 808 CL hat. So these are some one shots. If I hit VO space. CBCS. It plays them. Now, you may not be able to hear that because my um, audio in uh, ScreenFlow is not set to capture everything on the computer, so you may not have actually heard anything. Um, but when we actually download the pack, which I'm going to do right now, uh, I'm going to play them through Logic, so you should be able to hear everything just fine. So we're going to download the pack. May 80 bullet, 50 bullet, hip hop bullet, drum, at link, download pack, clickable. Download has started. There we go. And it's done. That was pretty, pretty quick. Now, let's close Safari. So I'm going to press Command Q. Logic Pro. And we're going to go to Logic. Now, One. I'm actually going to go to my Downloads folder because I need to unzip this. Screen. Voice over. Finder. Finder. App. Downloads. Lit. Cassette. Break. Open. Archive Utility. Archive Utility. Win. Finder. All right. Now it's unzipped. Beautiful. Close window. Screen flow. Close out of this. Logic Pro. We're going to go back Lo here. Now. To get started with importing samples, the easiest way I've found to do this is to import them on separate tracks because that way you're able to then mix them the way you like. If you need to turn the hi-hat up and down, for example, or the kick, you can do that. Only caveat to this, though, is you would then need to program your MIDI on each track. So... That's the method I will show you today. However, if people are interested, I can try and do one with Drum Machine Designer. It's a little difficult because Drum Machine Designer has a lot of accessibility issues and they have not been resolved yet. So I don't know how feasible that will be. We can give it a try. Um, for expediency's sake today, I'm going to just use um, the regular quick sampler. So I'm going to make a new track. Oops. Can't, don't, can't, unt in dialog, new track. And choose we're a track. Going to C create. Select the quick sampler, just like we did in our previous video. Choose. Get de detail. In app. Default patch. Menu check mark. Quick sampler. Single set. Quick step. Mono. Stereo. I'm gonna do stereo. Stereo. Oh. Library. And just like with uh, before. Inspect. When we did VOCR. It mixer. Let it inst over here. Set off, off, mid on. Q set open. But exact same process. Ins to dot table ins table view menu editor view me collapsed display. All right. If you have not watched my previous video when I covered quick sampler, I would recommend you do that and then come back here. Quick nav on. Quick nav off. All right. I'm doing my VOCR. Maybe <laughs> if it wants to work. Virtual link screen flip screen flip that we search. Oh, it's not turned on. Log Let's boot it up. Finder. That's what's happening here. Applicant VOC open Logic Pro. Log collapse. I'm doing my VOCR. There we go. Finished. Alrighty. Let's find that load sample button. Ins2 factory default. Oh, let me do that one more time. Let's hide the toolbar. Ins toolbar button. Finished. Ins to classic one shot slice recorder. No audio file load. One shot classic one shot. Oh. One shot. Things properly for drums. Finished. In classic one shot slice recorder. No audio file loaded. Snap. Uh, load record. Once rec no audio file load. No audio check mark. Show rename current. Remove clear history. Load audio file ellipsis. All right. Logic Pro busy. Toolbar. List view. Up ins to toolbar. Oops. The dialogue crash. Untitled. Let's show that one more Inst time. Collapse. Finished. Ins. Classic one. Load. Once. Record. No audio. Snap. No. N. No. Load audio file ellipsis. There's a problem in Big Sur. Logic Pro. Busy. Um, there's a 
there's a problem in Big Sur currently. I don't know if they fixed it in uh, Monterey. I don't have that yet. However, if you use the voiceover cursor to try and navigate this dialogue, sometimes the dialogue will just crash on you. So that's what happened in that case. I'm List view. My downloads folder. Cassette breaks. Let's go in here. List view. CBCS. All right, let's try tabbing. Horizontal scroll. Vertical. Back. But cassette search. I'm trying to find a play button. Op can't open. But side. Vert. Lit. Or vert. Back. List. Chain. Cassette. Search text options button. That must be in here. Cancel. Option. Search text field. Option. No, it's not. Okay, let's go to the left. Search text field. Options button. Cassette breaks. Cuts. Sidebar. Open. Original. Optima. List view. Table. CBC. Okay, there seems to not be a play button in here. So what I'll do is, you won't be able to hear this, but I'm going to try and find a kick. So I'm going down the list. You might actually be able to hear this. There's cool, like, acoustic drums. But I'm going down this list here to try and find... Okay, let's uh C CBCS underscore ninety underscore do CBCS underscore ninety under CBC we'll C go down C this list to the end C where hopefully CBCS under CBCS underscore ninety underscore we'll have some kicks. In scroll kind this, list view size list in date added size name CBCS underscore eight zero eight off hat dash band lab dot oh, here we go. CBCS underscore eight zero eight clap dash band lab dot And you can actually hear some of the quality of these samples anyway, so this is actually good to kind of get a feel. Here's a kick. Cool. Let's download or uh, import this rather. I'm gonna press return. Ins two. There we go. Mu Let's uh do our musical type. There it is. Nice. Collapsed. Dis now I don't believe this imported in one shot mode, so let me change it back. Finished. Ins two. Classic one shot. One one shot. Oh oh. All right. Mu there we go. Nice. Let's record a little pattern here. I'm going to close this window. It close. Un out control. And we're going to go. Mix editors. Uncheck. To our. Rec psych. Tempo. Control. One. I'm going to set it 90. to 90 BPM. Out of slide. Out, out. One. We'll make a little track. A little four bar loop. Let me turn on cycle. Cycle mode on. To do that, I press C. And I'm going to open my musical typing. One bar. One. One. On, one. And press R to record. One bar one. There we go. I'll quantize that. Inspect. In, inst. Track. Collapse. Re, table. Unquat. Off. One slash sixteen note. One slash. And let's make a new track and get. In dial. A snare. Choose a track type. Library. Off. Pop. Out. out tracks. Inspect. Mix. In, 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 all. Use audio. Q, audio. Plus. Q, open button. It. Very same. In, in, concept. Table. View. Edit. View okay, menu. Finished. In factory. Oh, gotta hide the exit v toolbar. In toolbar. There we go. Finished. In classic one. Load record or cl no audio file. No audio. Ready. Clear history. Load audio file. All right. Load audio. Let's find a snare. Forward list open option. A red optim list view table. See. TR 808 samples, which is pretty cool. In size, name, CBCS underscore 808 snare dash band out of. Ah, here's the snare. Cool, this might work. Let me just see if there's anything else. Okay, some, like scratches. That's pretty cool. Hey! Nice, so we got some pretty CBC cool, pretty high quality stuff actually C in here. CBCS under. Um, I'm just gonna go to this snare and I'm gonna load it. I'm gonna go to the red actually. Open. Optimized. Optimized tuning and loudness. Search for loop points and crop silence. Radio button. Original. Use original well, tuning, sure loudness, looping, and length. Select open. Original. Cool. Let's press open. Inst. Collapse. And we're going to OCR the window again. Finished. And again, to do that, I'm pressing Control Option Shift W. Inst. Classic one shots. One shot. Oh. One shot. Metronome. Metronome. Our snare. One bar. All right, let's record. We don't even need to exit this window. Let's just press R. Okay. 
one bar two. That was really sloppy. Let's uh it quantize that. Untap track inspect re it table dim off. Alright. One slash sixteen. One one let's listen to it. Let's see how it sounds so far. One bar one Met. Two bars. Cool. Sounds quite interesting. Very noisy because, of course, all of this stuff is recorded directly to tape, so there's hiss in the background, but that's all right. This is just a demonstration. If I were doing this um, for real, I would actually go in and change the length of these samples, and you can do that in the quick sampler if you just change it to controls view, change the envelope, release time, and things like that to get it to be exactly how you want. And I all right, let's choose find... Um, some hi hats, and then we'll finish this off with a loop. Library. Off. Interact. Out. Table. Row three. Mixer. Let. It. Off. Mid. All. Use. Open. Button. Ins. Ins. Four. Toolbar. Close. T length. View. At. Ins. Four. Toolbar. Collapsed. Finished. Ins. Classic. One shot. C. Load. No audio file loaded. No audio. Right. Load audio file ellipsis. Load audio file. Cool. Open dot again. gate added to dip cop side name. CB like CBCS doing. underscore eight zero eight clap dash band lab CBCS underscore eight zero eight CL hat dash band. All right, there's our hi hat. Ins four. Change to one shot mode. Finished. Ins four. Classic one shot. Collapsed. And let's see. Mute. Yeah, there we go. And uh, I just did this fun trick. You can go up and down the keyboard if you do, uh, you know, just go up and down chromatically. It'll change the pitch. Great for hi-hat rolls, whatever you like. Now, for this hi-hat, let's actually use the step sequencer. In close. I've demoed this before, but let's go over it again. So I'm going to press E to open up the piano roll. Hi, piano roll. I'm going to go to the left. Piano roll. Smart temp. Step sequencer. Radio button. Step sequence. All right, now we have a pattern. Now, all I have to do at this point is press left and right arrows, and I can Logic between my steps. Logic Pro. And if I want to go in and edit any of them, I go step into step step sequencer group. Our friend, the step sequencer, go in here. In step scroll area, scroll area. Actually, I'm sorry. No, How did step go to the left one? Step sequencer toolbar. This toolbar, go in here. In functions menu button view and menu show slash hide pattern browser. What I want though show slash hide local inspector is the local inspector if I wanted to go and edit anything. So I would I would go in here. Step sequencer group. Step step sequencer toolbar. Step sequencer group. Interact with it. it. Row radio button two of three. And now we have all of our different parameters here, and they're all accessible. Here. Step radio pattern length sixteen steps. I can change the pattern length. Step rate slash sixteen. Change the rate of the, of the whole pattern. Pat row. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go to um the pattern library actually, and then we're gonna try and find maybe a pattern that might work. Out step C in so, function view show slash hide pattern browser. Step C step smart temp step actions browser act, search pattern step browser sequencer group. Step sequencer group. This part here, you go in here and in actions browser. You got a browser in browser user patterns. Okay, check it out. Template templates. You got all sorts of stuff in here. So patterns go pat bass Let's go drums down. melodic Let's go drums, drums kit pieces. 800 and kit pieces. kit pieces, hat, decade, and let's go hat, to movement, lots of, there's lots of hat stuff, hat. so if I just hit space, one bar, one, oh, one bar, no, I think these are, hat, decade, I think these are actually categories, so if I go in here, hat, decade, uh, let's see, hat, off balance, one, oh, let's try, one bar, one, All right. One. Oh, I see what's problem. The problem is here. It actually inserted it uh, later than where we wanted. So I'm gonna press um, semicolon to bring it back to the beginning. One bar one. There we go. You also notice that it's bar very one low. We're gonna change the note of that in just a second. But I just want to find a good pattern first. Hat pushy rolls one. Let's see. Hat rolled up one bar. All right, that works. So we're gonna go to that hat now. And we're gonna edit it so that it plays on the proper note. Step sequencer toolbar. So to do that, I'm going to go back to our 
toolbar here. View show slash hide pattern browser. Steps step steps. Show show mo show slash hide local inspector. Uncheck mono mode. Uncheck show slash hide local inspector. Step step now. Row radio. I'm gonna go to the row selected. And the only row on here is our hi hat. Row sign F music sharp sign one pop up button. And I'm just gonna change that. Menu check automation notes check notes. D C C C music sharp C C one C five C four C four. C4. And if I press play now. One bar one. Oops, one. I'm sorry. C3. What am I talking about? Menu. Auto automation. Notes. Ch notes. Notes. D music sharks. C music sharks. So C. Submenu. C1. C root key. C3. Here we go. Root key. And it says root key right there. I missed that. All right. One. Cool. Now we got it on a proper note here. One bar one. Yeah, you'll notice too, it already um, stretched out for four bars. If we needed to change that, you would just go to the region in the track content area like this. Inspector tracks in, tra tracks in, tra go down. tracks contents group. Go in here. In tracks contents track two ins two track back track three. In, None of these are named. Track four ins four. I believe it's the bottom one. Works track four. If I go in here. In ins four region. There it is. If I were to go in. In ins here, loop move move right border handle. And interact with that, I would be able to change it. I'm not going to do that right now because it's already the length I need. But if I needed to. I can stretch that out as long as I need to. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so we've got a basic beat going. We've got a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat. Let's, let's do a little more. Let's not stop here. Let's add a few more little elements here. I'm going to now actually go into my um, finder. 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 And Applic we're going to import, let's import a, like a, a drum loop. Downloads. L cassette breaks. So let's go in here. Open. L now, you definitely will not be able to hear this because I'm going to now be using Quick Look, uh, Quick Look, rather, but I'm going to try and find one that works here. Quick Look. CB. So I'm scrolling through, and I want to find something that's kind of acoustic. So let's see. Let's see. I'm going to find something that's, uh... CBCS underscore 90 underscore classics break 2 underscore 1 bar dash 90. Let's try this one. Cool. Let's see. Cause yeah, this could work. This might be cool. So I'm going to copy this in. Copy. We're going to copy. Log Log it's already on our temp though, so we don't need to do anything extra. I'm just going to hide the library. Tracks. Group. In steps. And I'm going to hide the step sequence Show editor. In tra I'm going to hide the inspector. Um, what? You have to do this because otherwise it's not going to copy correctly. Logic is very finicky when it comes to how you copy things in. Paste. So I just hit paste. One. And now if I hit play and loop on. Loop it. One bar one. There it is. Let's one. do a little mixing. Track. Let's turn this. Um, in tracks. Track. In track five. Track. Name all these actually. Track one. Let's delete this track that I'm not using. Delete track. Track one. I call this one kick. So I see K. To rename, I'm pressing shift and return when I'm on the track I want to rename. Track two, in, so, e, e, track th in, so, H, track four, C B C B C select E A T, cool. track th track one, kick. Kick is fine. Track I'm turn zero plus in, down. minus four point minus two uh, uh, track four, zero plus in, down. minus six point six dB. Track and four zero plus zero in, drum layer down. minus eight point zero minus eight point two dB minus nine point one. So let's listen to that. One bar one. So we've got a nice little groove going. Let's uh, do a little more. Why don't we try and find, I'm going to go back in here. Finder. I'm going to try and find some percussion. CBCS underscore 90 underscore Dolby break 5 underscore. Let's see here. Quick. All right, let's do 90 then. Let's see it go down. I'm looking for some percussion here. Just scrolling through. Scrolling through. Got some little scratches in here that might be cool, maybe. Yeah, we're back to our one shots. Let me go up. CBCS under CBC. Cause. All right, let's actually do this one of these scratch loops. I'm not editing any. I'm not editing any of this out because I want to, like you know, make you see just how um, how this process works in real time. 
right, that's a pretty funky one here. I'm going to put that on bar four, so let's copy it. Copy. Lock. Go to bar one, four. four. Paste. Paste. Done. One, one bar. One. And just for fun, let's put all of this stuff in a track stack and do some processing on it. Tracks, it, tracks, track, track, it, track five. Down it, minus four. A little bit. Out, track one. I'm gonna select all these. Track, 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 track one. Kick. I'm on a track stack. And that's Command Shift D. In dial. Which, which track stack type do you want? Folder stack, radio button, summing stack. Track, cool. track, it, tracks, header, it, track, it, track stack. Uh, track one, someone. All right, let's name this drums. So you, S. And I'm going to put control, a compressor. Track. In it, mix, drop it off. Interact off, off, off. Stereo bus one. Audio plugin right. menu. Re compress amp. Com do stereo. There's our compressor from last time. We're going to put that on. Stereo. All right. Drums. Let's uh Table. go now and and uh, tweak the settings a little bit here. Ratio attack. Fifteen point zero millisecond release. Fifty-one point zero. Sixty-one point zero. Get me. Peak slash RMS. Peak selected. Out auto gain. Output distortion. Off pop up. Don't want any distortion just yet. Circuit type. Men studio V. Change the circuit to something like. Studio FET. Classic v Vintage VCA. Maybe. Hmm. Classic VCA. Classic. Compressor ratio. And let's listen to it. One bar one. Alright, we'll do a little processing here. Com minus 20. Minus. Bring up the threshold. Out, out ratio. Two points. Three point ratio four three. All right, turn it down a little bit. Two, 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 one point two. Just want a little bit of glooming happening here. Out, out, attack, release. Let me turn off the Game release. Knee. Side chain, it's limiter, auto, empty, auto, release. Auto release, rather. Uncheck. There you go. Let's turn on the output distortion. Lim limiter, side, circuit, output distortion, soft. Output is Alright. Four bar. And that's how you make a track using nothing but one shot samples and some loops. There you go. So that's a little beat we just made. Um, and yeah, we mixed it a little bit. Not too much, but you know, we did a little bit here and there. Um, and yeah, there's a lot more you could do with this. This is just scratching the surface. But now with this new format, I'm actually thinking it would be very helpful to do some more videos like this where we're making, you know, little beats here and there, do some mixing techniques because everyone can hear the details that I'm trying to convey. So when we're doing things like panning, uh, which we didn't actually do in this, let's do that a little bit. Untitled. Uh, uh, while we're here, why not? Tracks. We're going to go to the tracks. It, tra 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 track pan. one, drums. Open this up again. In tra track stack. Out track two. Kick group. Tra track four. H eight. Gonna pan this high four zero. A little bit to the left. In twenty. Out track five. And beat. I'm gonna pan four zero. Speed a little bit to the right. In twenty. Out, out of track six. Four zero. Minus eight. Down minus eight. A little more. One. And let's hear that now. One bar one. One bar. So yeah, there you go. Uh, we got a little beat going, got some cool stereo separation, and yeah. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Um, if anyone has any more questions, please post them in the comments, and I will do my best to make some more videos or respond to those. Um, and you know, please be sure to rate, subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. Hit the bell for notifications. And um, I will have some more videos very soon. I plan to start doing a Reaper series alongside my Logic tutorial, so anyone using Logic, don't worry, I haven't given up on you. Um, but I want to introduce Reaper because I feel that really it's probably going to be the next big step for some of you guys who maybe feel that Logic might be too limiting or who are on Windows. So look out for that, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.